Day. If you can hear me from wherever you are, please pick the conversation away. But a very good morning to our audience. Stephen? This is Chira, and it's World Food Day. I hope, Ivan, you've taken some food, and of course you who is watching Morning at NTV, because today is the World Food Day, and of course under the theme that is right to food for a better life and a better future. Here at Chira, near the Chira Health, at, exactly at Chira Health Center, it's going to be an engagement about food, how to prepare food, why you need to have a nutritious food, but also uh, how to prepare food. Uh, experts are going to be here. It's going to be a health camp here, and of course this is powered by Unilever Uganda limited and i want to be speaking to uh, uh some people from unilever and especially grace nanda are here who is the marketing manager for unilever but also some people here where they are beginning to come in and it's a free engagement you can also be part of this wherever you are just make your way to chira health center let me first of all engage grace here then i will be moving to a nutritionist to let me know how to prepare nutritious foods but for grace good morning to you good morning how are you i'm okay good as Unilever, why have you prepared this engagement, organized this on this World Food Day? World Food Day is a special day because uh, we usually focus on uh, the, the key reasons why people have to eat healthy. At Unilever, we are committed through our nutritious brand, Reiko, to also be part of this journey. People eating food and eating the right food is a fundamental right. Yet in Uganda, we still see very many people suffering from diseases that are caused by the lack of micronutrients. So today we are here to educate the people how to use, how, what to eat, when to eat, and how even to prepare it. So we will have quite a number of activities. We will uh, do anemia screening. We will do uh, education of the key nutritious foods and, and, and then uh, wrap it up with showing them how to use the Reiko cubes, which are fortified with iron and iodine. Let me some of it. The Reiko cubes. We will teach them how to use them because they are fortified with iron and iodine, which is a key ingredient to, fight, uh, to fighting anemia. I can see a various brand. Uh, is it the same? Uh, they are the same nutrients in both? <coughs> yes, we have both uh, beef and chicken. They are the same, uh, they have the same ingredients and uh, same iron and, and, and they're both iron and, and iodine fortified uh, cubes. And why would one prepare food, especially in the restaurants at homes, or especially on this world food day, but also going beyond? Why would they need to have these soy-called tubes when you talk about nutritious foods? Usually when we talk about nutritious food, people think of food that is so boring, food that is not interesting. When you think about nutritious food, you, t you think about your nakati, you think about your buga, which is very tasteless, and even people don't want to eat it. Some people have even dubbed it poor man's food. So our role here as Royco is to actually make the good things irresistible. How do we then make this food that is so good and make it very delicious? By adding a little, uh, by adding Royco cubes to the, your, your food, you not only uh, put, make it so delicious, it adds flavor, it adds taste, and above all it gives you the iron and iodine that you require. Thank you so much, Grace Nandaula, Marketing Manager, Uganda, Unilever, Uganda Limited. Let me also go to the nutritionist because I can see uh, so an assortment of uh, foods here. Uh, he's going to be letting me know what these foods are, why you need them on a daily or on a weekly. This is uh, Dr. Patrick Sechisambu, uh, the health educator here in Chila Municipality. Good morning to you. Uh, good morning, NTV, and good morning, all the viewers. Uh, this is Sam Patrick, health educator, Chila Municipality. I'm very, very much privileged to have you today here. And as Chira Municipality, we are joining the whole world, particularly Uganda, to see that also we commemorate this world for today, to see that our people have the right to better foods, better life, and then a better future. To see that at least our people can be able to access our food nutrients, and then which is affordable, for, and which is safe for them, and then we also ensure that we have food security within our areas. Okay, I can see an assortment of foods here. Uh, you can t take me through why one would need a pumpkin, a, a sweet potato, some greens there. Why on a daily? Yes, thank you very much. Uh, we have nutrients which you are looking to our foods. One is macronutrients that is required in large, uh, large amounts within our bodies. There we have carbohydrates and the proteins. Those are required in big numbers. Then we have the, the, the micronutrients. Those are required in small numbers, especially the greens. But when you are eating these foods, you make sure that at least you have a balanced diet. And you have to ensure that you eat them on a very day uh, basis. Of course, it doesn't mean that you are going to get all these uh, foods you have displayed here. 
and then eat them at the same time because some of them they actually contain the same nutrients but if you can be able to access one and then mix it with the greens and then also take water but of course you don't take water at the same time as we are drinking we say as we are engaging our community our people that when we are going to eat food at least been like started one hour before you eat food after taking Somebody can even contaminate the food. But I said that the food should be safe. From where it has been grown, where it has been transported from, in that transit, how has it been stored? How has it been? has enough blood and also have the necessary nutrients to fight several diseases. Thank you so much. Your final word to the viewers of Morning at 10 TV as we go back to studio. Yes, um, dear viewers, uh, those who are near Chira, I request you to come and need, uh, be engaged in this activity because we are going to be uh, uh, creating awareness to very many people.